Hi friends, Miss Jill here today, and I have a very special book called Wolfie the Bunny. It's written by Amy Dickman and illustrated by Zachariah O'Hora, and it's published by Little Brown Books for Young Readers. <laughs> Sorry, a little cat tail in the picture. Um, so a big thank you to Little Brown Books for letting me read this to you today. Alrighty. Wolfie the Bunny. The bunny family came home to find a bundle outside their door. Do you guys see the little bundle? Yeah, I wonder what that is. Let's find out. They peeked. They gasped. It's a baby wolf. He's adorable, said Mama. He's ours, said Papa. He's going to eat us all up, said Dot. But Mama and Papa were too smitten to listen. Wolfie slept through the night, but Dot did not. Mama served carrots for breakfast. Aw, he likes them, said Mama. He's a good eater, said Papa. Well, speaking of eating, said Dot, he's going to eat us all up. But Mama and Papa were too busy taking pictures to listen. Uh-oh. Dot's friends came by to see the baby. He's sleeping, whispered Mama. He's a good sleeper, whispered Papa. He's going to eat us all up, they all screamed. No kidding, said Dot. Let's go play at your houses. For the first time, Wolfie cried, but Dot was too far away to hear him. When Dot returned, Wolfie was waiting. Everywhere Dot went, Wolfie went too. He's drooling on me, said Dot. He's a good drooler, said Papa. The days passed and Wolfie grew, and so did his appetite. When Mama opened the cupboard, she got a surprise. The carrots, said Mama, they're gone. Oh no, said Papa. He ate them all up, said Dot. Dot fetched the carrot bag, but she did not get far. Oh, he wants to help, said Mama. He's a good helper, said Papa. He's going to. Oh, skip it, said Dot. But I've got my eye on you, Buster. Wolfie and Dot went to the carrot patch. Look, you know what that is? That's a sloth. He works at the carrot patch. Dot was picking one last carrot when Wolfie's mouth opened wide. I knew it, said Dot, on guard. But Wolfie, he wasn't looking at Dot. Dinner, roared the bear. It was Dot's chance to run away. Instead, she ran forward. Let him go, Dot demanded, or I'll eat you all up. The bear blinked. You're a bunny, he said. I'm a hungry bunny, said Dot. But I'm bigger than you, said the bear. Well, I'll start on your toes, said Dot. Help, cried the bear. She's going to eat me all up. Dot relaxed as the bear ran away. Whew. We're safe, she said. Then... Wolfie pounced. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Come on, little brother. Let's go home and eat. And that is Wolfie the Bunny. And there's a little note from the author that I think is really cute. And it says, my daughter was an adorable toddler, except when she was tired. Then she transformed. She's a wolf baby, her father and I would say, quietly, so she wouldn't hear us. And that gave me ideas. Amy Dickman. And those ideas led to Wolfie the Bunny. Alrighty, thanks everyone. See you next time.